You probably missed this in Boss Baby. Tim's t-shirt actually changes numbers from 01 to 02 to show that he's no longer on top when it comes to kids in the family. Did you notice in Luca that Alberto has a scar on his left arm? Here's why. It's actually a callback to the opening scene where the fisherman throws a harpoon at him as Alberto is escaping. You missed this in Wally. -E. In the future, humans have become so lazy and dependent on technology that they've all grown extremely overweight. Even the captain of the Axiom, the luxury cruise liner spaceship, has grown so large he can no longer fit in his uniform and instead wears the shirt around his neck with just a single button holding it in place. How is Elf connected to another of the most famous Christmas movies of all time? Take a look at this scene. Notice anyone special? It's Peter Billingsley. You might not recognize him now, but he played Ralphie Parker in A Christmas Story, the boy who wanted nothing more than a Red Rider BB gun for Christmas. Did you know that the entire plot of the Boss Baby is actually shown in the opening scenes? Pay special attention to Tim's toy train, and you'll see that it gives a summary of the whole plot through visual imagery only. Boss Baby has a connection to one of the most quotable movie scenes of all times. When the baby voiced by Alec Baldwin says, Cookies are for closers. It's a reference to the iconic scene in Glengarry Glen Ross when one character tells another that Coffee's for closers only. Who played that hotshot salesman that delivered the famous line? Alec Baldwin. Did you notice this in Home Alone? The statue in front of the McAllister family's house seems to be a magnet for destruction. The poor jockey statue is hit multiple times, first by the pizza delivery guy, then by a van taking the family to the airport, then by the pizza guy again. And there's one more time when it's alluded that even the police officer sent to check on Kevin hits it. Did you know that in The Truman Show, the full moon appears on the same side as the setting sun? This indicates that not everything is right within the world, as the moon would have to be on the other side of the sky to be illuminated by the sun. Did you spot this in Maze Runner? Many, including the actor who played Newt, have wondered why the Gladers didn't simply bring a ladder and climb out of the maze. This issue is taken care of in the book, where the walls of the maze are much, much taller, which is why the Gladers weren't able to climb to the top. In the book, the maze is also contained within a dome, which means the sky and the weather are all artificial. Luca has an Easter egg about the next Pixar movie. At one point, you can see a record for the band Four Star Town. This is a reference to Pixar's next movie, Turning Red, which features a band of the same name. Did you know that the black hole in Interstellar isn't just impressive looking, it's also incredibly scientifically accurate? So much so that it took the physics and visual effects software around 100 hours to produce each frame. That means that in the final version, each second you see on the screen took about 100 days to render. You missed this in Wally. -E. As Wally -E attempts to bring Eve back to life by taking Eve on a date, Wally -E brings Eve to a romantic overlook where it starts raining. Always thinking of others, Wally -E holds an umbrella up to prevent Eve from getting wet, which is struck by lightning. The electricity that passes through the umbrella doesn't hurt Wally -E, though, and in fact charges Wally's -E battery to full. In the movie, Massimo serves Luca Trinette al Pesto, a dish that comes from Genoa, the capital of Liguria. The area is well known for its basil, which is key to the fresh pesto sauce, and Genoa also happens to be the hometown of the film's director. 